Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. I'm going to read Oliver Jeffers, the author and illustrator of How to Catch a Star. This little boy is in a rocket ship, reaching out trying to grab a star. I don't even think that's possible, do you? Let's have a look at the blurb and see if that gives us any more information. Once there was a boy and the boy loved stars very much. Hmm, the blurb. Have you ever looked at the stars in the sky and wanted to touch them? They look so sparkly and beautiful at night. I'm curious about the boy's love of stars. Sometimes the blurb does not tell you much, but I have not read many books about stars, so I'm very curious to see what this book is about. Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Do you like stars? I love to look at the night sky. How many stars can you count? Every night the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. Would you like to own your very own star? Activating prior knowledge, can you pick stars out of the sky? No, of course not. But why can't you? Super scientists out there will know that we can't reach the sky and stars are made of gas and they are actually very big so you can't keep them. He dreamed how this star might be his friend. They would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. Um, how do you think you would go playing hide and seek with a star? They are so bright it would be very hard to hide from one. What would you do if you had a star for a friend? I think I would go swimming at night so my star could light up the ocean. The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. Can you see a problem with waiting during the day for a star to appear? Why can't we see stars during the daytime? Well, the sun is so bright we can't see them. It is only when the earth rotates away from the sun we can see the moon and the stars. He waited and he waited and ate lunch. Oh no, I don't think he understands. He will have to wait until night time. Do you know how many hours of daylight there are and how many hours of night there are? If you said 12 each, you are right. How many hours does that make if you add day and night hours together? 12 plus 12 equals 24. and waited and after dinner he waited some more finally just before the sun was about to go away he saw a star wow he is really patient waiting all day finally the first star has come out this is usually called the evening star but it is also called the morning star because it travels across the sky and it is the brightest star that we can see from earth it is actually the planet Venus. You can go to the link below to find out some more about that. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find, but the star was still way out of reach. Do you think climbing a tree will work? I don't know about climbing such a tall tree, especially at night. Have you ever climbed a tree? I think I would want one with some branches coming off it so you can climb up each part of the tree. He thought he might lasso the star with the life belt from his father's boat, but it was much too heavy for him to carry. Um, I'm not sure about that. Do you think this will work, even if he could lift the lifeboat ring? Make a prediction. 
What else do you think he will try? Hmm, I, I'm really not sure because I don't think he understands just how high up a star is. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star, but his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Do you think he really flew to the moon? Of course not. He is using his imagination. What does that mean? Your imagination is a powerful part of your brain that allows you to think about anything beyond real life so that you can do anything and be anything. It's one of the most wonderful things we can have and use. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach his star. But the only seagull he could find didn't want to help at all. He must really want to get a star. Why do you think the seagull didn't want to help? Can a seagull fly up that far? Can a seagull talk? The boy thought he would never catch a star. Just then, he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star that he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. Do you think the boy is really seeing a star floating on the water? What is he seeing? If you answered the star in the sky's reflection, you are right. The light is bouncing off the water, so it looks like there is a star there, but there is not. He tried to fish the star out with his hands, but he couldn't reach it. Then he had an idea. The star might wash up on the shore. He ran back along the jetty to the beach. The little boy has had some great ideas, but none of them have worked because it is something he will never be able to do. What do you think of his idea to see if the star washes up on the beach? Can you think of any other stars that you might find that you can touch at the beach? Then he waited and waited and waited and waited. Oh dear, he's waiting again. What do you think his chances are of picking up a star? Have you figured out what other type of star may wash up on the sand? And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. Um, did he actually catch a star from the sky? What type of star is this? It's a starfish. I love that the boy finally got his wish. Have you ever found or seen a starfish at the beach? The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. He looked so happy to finally have a star of his own. I am not sure about a star walking along the beach like that. Draw a picture of what you would do with your new star friend. Sometimes the author will dedicate a book to someone. This book is for Marie and Paul. I also like the baby photo so you can see what the author was like as a child. I love Oliver Jeffers' artwork in this book. Maybe you could try drawing a rocket. Thanks for listening. Please comment and subscribe for more fabulous stories.